In today's top cryptocurrency news, October 27, 2022, in the first new, Fidelity report shows resilience to crypto winter, huge adoption gap among investors. Fidelity Digital Assets research paints a not-too-gloomy picture of the digital asset institutional investment scene, although it indicates that some segments are much more active than others. In the second new, Team Finance exploited for $14.5 million during protocol migration, despite contract audit. Hackers appear to have spent as little as 1.76 Ether to initiate the attack vector. In the third new, Celo Ecosystem Projects raised $77.3 million in support of interoperability, ReFI. The Celo blockchain supports mobile-first DeFi payment infrastructure. Several companies building on the platform have received venture funding. In the fourth new, Telegram launches marketplace to auction rare username handles. The popular messaging app launched a new marketplace on the TON blockchain, on which it plans to auction off rare user handles. In the fifth new, Google launches blockchain node engine for Web3 developers. The service will simplify node infrastructure and onboarding for blockchain developers. In the sixth new, why the battle for low or no transaction fees really matters. High transaction fees stand in the way of crypto achieving its full potential and being embraced by the masses, but it is possible to make transfers for free. In the seventh new, Bitcoin is cooling its rally, here are the BTC price levels to watch next. Bulls have a lot of work left to do, say Bitcoin analysts as consolidation enters for BTC price. In the eighth new, Core Scientific reveals financial distress in SEC filing, says its end may be near. The Bitcoin miner says low BTC prices, high electricity rates and Celsius refusal to pay its bills could be its undoing. In the ninth new, Consen System commits $2.4 million annually to launch Metamask Grants DAO. The employee-led DAO will take charge of issuing grants to external developers building within the Metamask ecosystem. In the tenth new, Coinbase, Alameda-backed Mara launches African crypto wallet service. Africa's cryptocurrency landscape welcomes a new crypto wallet backed by global firms in the ecosystem. In the 11th new, building community resilience to crises through mutual aid and Web3. In the 12th new, Dogecoin price jumps 40% on Elon Musk, Twitter's crypto wallet rumors. Doge could undergo a 20% price correction before the end of the year, despite strong fundamentals. In the 13th new, does the IMF have a vendetta against cryptocurrencies? Is the multilateral lending institution throttling useful DLT experiments in the developing world, or is it saving crypto from itself? In the 14th new, a record 55,000 Bitcoin, or over $1.1 billion, was just withdrawn from Binance. Some serious withdrawals are occurring on the world's biggest crypto exchange by volume. In the 15th new, Silicon Valley tech CEOs are not big fans of metaverses. Disney CEO said the company doesn't tend to use the word metaverse, as it believes it's a very broad term. In the 16th new, Kazakhstan to build central bank digital currency on BNB chain. Officials in Kazakhstan continue their close relationship with Binance, as the national bank plans to integrate its CBDC on the BNB chain. In the 17th new, NFT vending machine to make digital art more accessible at London event. Proceeds from the NFT vending machine at this year's NFT London event will be donated to charity. In the 18th new, crypto investment firm Q9 gets provisional approval to operate in Dubai. The Hong Kong-based company will join the likes of Binance, Crypto.com, OKX and FTS, who've also opened offices in the UAE. In the 19th new, DeFi pioneer echoes SBF in call for tighter crypto regulations. The Yen. Finance founder suggested that several cracks have shown in the crypto sector this year, and that regulation is needed to rein in irresponsible actors. In the 20th new, phishing scammer Monkey Drainer has pilfered as much as $1 million in ETH. Four addresses have been flagged relating to Monkey Drainer, including the monkeydrainer.f address, with chain abuse showing a long list of reported victims relating to these accounts. In the 21st new, Equifax, known for huge data breach, is building a Web3 KYC solution. Equifax, which suffered a huge data breach in 2017, has partnered with privacy-centric blockchain company Oasis Labs for a decentralized ID offering for Web3 companies. In the 22nd new, asset management firm launches BTC Lightning Network Startup Accelerator.
the Startup Accelerator will consist of four yearly eight-week programs, with successful applicants receiving $250,000 and one receiving an additional $500,000 at the end of the program. In the 23rd new, Hong Kong could be key for China's crypto comeback, Arthur Hayes. Hayes says the next crypto bull run will be tied to when China embraces the crypto market again, and Hong Kong could be the gateway for this to happen. In the 24th new, Metaverse losses top $3.6 billion for Meta with spending set to increase. The tech giant is just over $500 million away from topping its more than $10 billion Metaverse department losses in 2021, but it said its spending will only grow next year. In the 25th new, Aussie federal budget reaffirms BTC won't be treated as foreign currency. The new federal budget states that Bitcoin will fall under the current tax treatment of digital currencies, including the capital gains tax treatment, where they are held as an investment. In the 26th new, Blockchain.com partners with Visa to offer crypto debit card. The launch of the new crypto debit card follows the announcement of similar products from FTX and BitOasis. Today's news ends here. Tomorrow, there will be more news. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with cryptocurrency news. See you tomorrow.